Welcome back to Eat the Canvas, where it is my goal to inspire you to know more of what you eat. And on today's episode, I want to start doing a beginning of the month garden tour so that you all can see the progress happening in the garden, things that might not be working out so hot, but also hopefully getting ideas of what you can implement in your garden as well. So let's get into it. So let's start with this banana plant. Now this started from one plant that I purchased about a year ago. And as you can see, there's a total of maybe, I don't know, seven, eight, nine plants within this all. Uh, you can see here, I had cut off some sections already, like yesterday actually, and the rest of them are growing in well. You can see a whole another section of them growing over here. And as I mentioned in a past video, all these other banana plants, these banana pups as they're called, can be dug up from their roots and spread throughout the yard are given to people as gifts. What better gift than food that keeps on giving? Again, this was one plant at first, and now there's eight, nine trees, <laughs> banana plants, all in there right now. This right here is a star fruit, our carambola that I started from seed about a year and a half ago. Uh, I actually cut the top off because it was leaning too much. Uh, so that is what it is right now. We'll see what shoots produce from that. Here we have black chickpeas, black garbanzo beans. I uh, had two of these plants that I started uh, a couple months ago. They produced a lot of seeds for me. So I decided to grow more and uh, see what some black hummus would taste like. We'll see. Got a couple of volunteer basils over here from a plant that I used to have here a while ago. I guess some of the seeds got worked up in the soil and started growing, so why not keep it here? Uh, over here, we have black turtle beans. Got about two little rows of those. This right here is a yellow yam that I saw was uh, sprouting in the house. <laughs> so I decided to put it in the dirt. It's growing vines, so we'll see what comes from that. Over here, we have some collard greens. Uh, I drink a lot of this water at times, me and my wife, and I decided, besides throwing them away, to use them as mini greenhouses uh, to protect the collard greens for the time being. See, there it is right there. I'll take them off eventually. Over here, we have some sugar snap peas. Starting off well so far rosemary plant doing well <clears throat> over here we have a uh, moringa tree that i started from seed about a year and a half ago i already cut this down by half but it grows back pretty fast avocado tree i started about a year and a half ago that's growing well uh, i have it held up by this string <laughs> just to uh make sure that it doesn't fall over from the weight that it has right now over here we have uh some pinto beans that i'm growing uh, these I'm growing from seeds that I produced uh, a couple of months ago on these uh, two pieces of uh, fences right here that someone was throwing away. I decided to keep them because I know that they would be good for trellising plants. Now, this banana plant right here came from the one that was down there. That one plant that I had that has like eight plants over there now, this was one of them. I separated it from the roots. I brought it over here. It's grown pretty well and it's producing its own other banana pups as well which i might uh separate maybe i'll give it away for free within the neighborhood we'll see down here we got two cilantro two parsley put the seeds in there so that should be coming up maybe in the next couple of days and uh got two papaya here that i started from seeds as well from a papaya that i got uh from the store i might put those two uh down there by the banana tree in a couple of days bringing it over here uh, this is a mango tree that i started from seed about a year ago this is black mission fig uh, that i purchased about a year ago uh, it's grown pretty well the stem's getting pretty wooded so i would assume it'll be producing somewhat soon for me this is an apple tree 
Uh, it's most likely not going to grow here in Miami. I started this from seed uh, about a year and a half ago as well. Uh, it's been growing, but I'm pretty sure it won't produce, but we'll see. It's an experiment. This is the other star fruit plant that I started growing uh, from seed, from the actual star fruit that I ate. Um, yeah, it's doing pretty well. <laughs> Cut the top off because it was leaning a lot, produced a lot of extra shoots, so maybe that'll produce in about a year or two. We shall see. Uh, got some eggplant down there, some extra uh, pinto beans, and let's bring it back over here. Uh, I planted Roma tomatoes and basil along this uh, yesterday, so we'll see what comes from that. This is a uh, medjool date palm. Uh, got this from the store. The, well, the actual medjool dates ate them, kept uh, one of the seeds, <laughs> germinated it, and there it is now. This is a lemon tree. This uh, is some type of custard apple that I bought last year. Uh, I thought it had pretty much died a while back, but then it started producing leaves again and growing a bit, so. We'll see what comes from that. And this is a uh, flameless grape vine that's been doing pretty well also. Uh, I had learned that when I was cutting off these vines right here, I stuck them in some dirt, a few of them in some dirt, and they started producing roots. So I've learned that you can propagate these by just cutting off the stem and you can make more grape vines. So I'll show you that in the backyard. Almost forgot as well too. Where this mango and apple tree is and black mission fig, this little encampment that we have right here. We found the tortoise that showed up in our yard one day after a heavy rain a couple of months ago and we decided to keep it. Look at that. Look at that face. Yeah, boy. Yeah, say hi. Yeah, boy. All right, so to bring it around to the backyard area. Uh, starting off with some la ooh, just saw this lavender was uh, pretty hurt by the uh, <laughs> the rain here. Looks like it'll come back strong though. But lavender here. I also have some uh, lavender in this little bed that I made connected to the house with some cinder blocks. Uh, I'm doing the same kind of idea uh, with these little using the bottles for greenhouses. Though I, I switched the method in the front yard where the top is here, so I can unscrew it and look into it. This one was my first uh, time doing it. So I probably wouldn't do it this way again, but they're growing inside. This is, uh, I believe this is called Cuban oregano or something else, thyme, something. Has great flavor to it. Uh, got it from my aunt. She cut a piece for me, stuck it in some dirt, brought it back home, stuck it here, and it's been growing. Uh, over here, we have some autumn zebra pole beans and good mother stallard beans. Uh, I was trying to find a way to plant these things fast <laughs> and there was a fence here that the neighbor had before they built a privacy fence here. So I decided to not take it down. Uh, I probably could have kept the actual fence part here, but I wasn't thinking then. So I'm using strings to tie it up. Uh, I have these strings connected to uh, rocks <laughs> and I tied it up so that uh, the vine can continue to go up it. And I'm sure it's gonna go higher than what this is, probably about, I don't know, three three feet high maybe. So maybe I'll connect more string and bring it even higher. We'll see what happens. This is where I collect some rainwater so I can uh, water the plants with. Over here we have two uh, cherry tomato type plants. Uh, now, these peppers, these peppers were in the front in a raised bed that I did away with. Uh, so I literally just, pulled them out of the ground got the root and i stuck it back here <laughs> and uh this one's pretty tiny but has a lot of flowers on it i don't know if it's able to actually support all of what's going to come from these flowers but it is here so we shall see now i've been neglecting back here a lot not even gonna lie this is an avocado plant that i i, I do not look after like that this is a uh turmeric and ginger patch now these are the grapevines that i was talking about i stuck maybe about i don't know 11 grapevines uh in some dirt and as you can see <laughs> this one's growing this one looks dead these two look dead but this one's growing all these look dead but uh 
yeah this seems like a lot of new growth right here dead and dead so maybe that's about a 50 percent uh victory right there now over here is probably oh another avocado i've been neglecting this as well but it seems to be growing when i say neglected i mean i have not touched this thing in like six months so <laughs> i'm surprised it's even still alive but back here is probably the most neglected part of my house as far as garden is concerned it used to look a lot better than this i barely come back here but uh i'll show you what it looks like i definitely have to put some work back here <laughs> all this was cleared at first so i need to rebeautify all of this uh to take advantage of the potential that is back here um eventually gonna put together a little shed right here that's been neglected um there was a lot more mess here but someone had to come through here yesterday so i cleared a lot of it out so it looks actually better and it motivated me to get back here again so i want to do something with this bed especially uh, maybe i'll throw some more compost in there build it up a little bit this is the first banana tree that we had that produced for us we still have bananas in the freezer from this um, so it's definitely produced a lot of pups that got pretty big i'm guessing two of these will probably be producing bananas soon over here uh, another neglected part um, we had a, a lot of lacinado kale dino kale here that i have not touched for a long time it looks pretty uh gross back here <laughs> but you can still see that uh they're still growing let me pull this up here actually yeah they're still growing actually the tortoise likes these leaves so let me uh pull some of these off so i'll probably reinvigorate all of this area so that we can get the max potential from this and grow food so i will actually go ahead and give this to the tortoise now um, i know there's a way to check if it's a boy or a girl but we have not checked yet up oh, on the move and we actually named the tortoise Olivea. forgot where the name came from but it recently already ate so it might not go for these but it's been eating a lot more recently it's probably nervous that i'm watching it let's see what it does it's debating should i move and get it i'm being watched nope it's going for it there it is let's do a zoom in take a bite take a bite for the camera take a bite for the tube yes look at it there it goes Dig in, dig in, bro, dig in. Or sis, I, I don't really know if you're boy or girl. Maybe someone's skilled enough to know by looking, no idea. All right, and lastly, I do not want to neglect our babies that we have growing inside. This right here, young strawberry plants. Got a decent germination, better than I actually expected from these right here, so. And this one over here, have some uh red russian kale in the front and back here one of these are acorn squash and one of these is um butternut squash as well and the mixture that i have here this growing medium it's a uh, coconut core peat moss and i just threw some uh minerals and nutrients in there just a little bit to give it a good start all right so there you have it beginning of the month of September garden tour. Looking forward to seeing what next month looks like. It should be looking a lot more lush. Until next time, be inspired to grow more of what you eat.